is Amelia. So I've been playing a game called Airheart. Uh, it's developed and published by Blind Flug Studios, an indie studio, which is seriously, guys, is really difficult to pronounce. Blind Flug. Anyways, so Airheart is a uh, top-down twin-stick shooter, airplane shooter, and with roguelike elements. And I've been playing on my Nintendo Switch. Uh, the the gist of it is you use the plane, you catch fish for money because it's sky fishes. You go sky fishing. You catch fish for money and you destroy other ships, which is mostly pirate ships, but you can also destroy civilian ships, I guess, other sky fisher people. And you get parts from destroying those. After finishing a level, you then go to a platform that shoots you up to a higher level. So you keep going up. And basically the goal is to catch the big ass sky whale at the top. Um, I've always had trouble talking about and reviewing, I guess, uh, roguelike kind of games because roguelike games, roguelike games, basically you just keep repeating. You keep dying, you keep repeating it. And somebody can play two hours and reach much farther than somebody who's played five hours. So I played a few hours of this and I feel like I've already seen everything that the game has, has to offer. Uh, obviously, I have not caught the Sky Whale yet um, because I keep dying. But I feel like I've seen all the mechanics and it's basically just to get better at the game and to just keep going up. So I feel like it's okay for me to talk about it now. So in terms of the visuals, it has a very cartoony sort of cell shaded look to it. I really like it. It's very pretty to look at. Uh, imagine sort of like Borderlands softer without such without the um thick black lines sort of like that uh it's really nice to look at overall uh but because of the whole gimmick of going up to higher levels what they did was you can actually see the previous levels at the bottom so it just keeps getting smaller and smaller right and it doesn't actually provide any contrast and it just makes everything really difficult to see so sometimes i Seriously, I just cannot keep track of where the bullets I'm supposed to avoid, where my ship is going sometimes, where other ships are, because there's collision damage, you can collide with like, uh, it's basically floating islands and you can collide with like the walls and stuff, you can also collide with other airplanes, so it's not very easy for me to see. I would have preferred if they did like, uh, more clouds at the bottom every time you go up a level the previous level you can sort of see but you can just see more clouds or maybe just blur them out sort of like a depth perception kind of thing uh, but because of having previous levels at the bottom it just makes it really difficult to see so like i mentioned just now the core gameplay loop is basically to catch fish for money and use that money when you go back to base you use that money to buy uh, better weapons, you buy better parts for airplanes. The airplane is broken up to three different parts. The uh, engine, the body, and the wings, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. And and also uh, each plane has like a different skin or something. And, and you can mix and match different parts. So destroying ships also gets you parts, but not parts to put on your ship, parts for the crafting mechanic. And I'm not very happy with the crafting mechanic. It was really confusing at first. And there's no real sense of reward or progression. There's a lot of guessing game. So basically you get a few scraps here and there. You get a few different types of scraps. And each item requires multiple different types or multiple of the same type. You can put up to a maximum of five different items to create one new item. So you can, and there's no recipes to follow. You just try to guess and then at the bottom it will show you like which parts you got right, which parts you got wrong so you can retry but I didn't feel any real sense of reward or progression trying to play the crafting game and every time you don't actually use a part if you fail which is good but you use money every time you fail or, or succeed you use money to do the crafting so while you fail you don't actually use the parts but you still use money. So I just found that really confusing and I would I would basically just 
get money and buy my own parts, buy like the weapons and the airplane plus rather than trying to craft. One more thing about the uh, actual gameplay, your ship also has a harpoon. You have uh, later on where you can buy a different part where you can put on two weapons, but the har you also have a separate harpoon. The harpoon lets you catch fish, but also lets you hook enemy ships. It lets you hook onto, if it's a bigger ship, you get to hook onto like armor place and to remove the armor place so you can shoot the body. I feel like the harpoon was a really fun mechanic and it felt really satisfying to shoot the harpoon. Very difficult to aim. This game is really difficult to aim. It's a twin stick, but because you're moving all the time and you're in a plane, it's just difficult to aim. Anyways, the harpoon I felt was a really fun mechanic and I wish that it played a bigger part. I'm not sure how, but I just wish like uh, there'll, there'll be bosses and stuff and there'll be a lot of armor plays to take off, but I wish like the harpoon would have played a bigger part. But it's a really fun mechanic. That's, that's one of the things I really enjoyed about this game. So overall, I played it on Nintendo Switch and while it was solid, um, I actually prefer playing it on the TV dock mode because on handheld, like I mentioned just now, the visuals is just not enough contrast and it's just very hard to see anything. Um, not just during gameplay, but also the UI and the words is just, I don't know, is it, for me it was difficult to see. And playing on a handheld such a small screen, everything is just scaled down, it's just really difficult to see. Playing on the TV dock mode though actually enhanced my experience. Although I did come across a couple of bugs during docked mode that I did not get while in handheld mode. Uh, basically, I played maybe a couple hours in docked mode and I crashed twice. So I'm not sure if that's a that's an issue on their end, if it's an issue with my Nintendo Switch. So overall, Airheart is a pretty solid game, I would say. Uh, if you enjoy twin stick shooters and if you enjoy the roguelike elements of just keep you know you just keep repeating the levels those kind of stuff i think you'll find something you'll like here the visuals are really clean and nice to look at but again not enough contrast for me so it makes it just difficult to see anything and but i would say maybe wait for a sale about 25 30 percent off then i'll definitely recommend this if it's bigger than that then for sure uh overall i think it's a pretty solid effort by the developers